previously on Trend Kills Let's Play. I'm not against cursing. Watch this. Fuck. Hopefully, the dragon swoops down and burns Findall's ass hair off. All right, so I'm going to activate Findall here and see if I can get him to attack the dragon. Oh, shit. Focus. Focus my chi. I was worried I was going to be out. Oh, I hit him in the butthole. She goes in balls out basically every time. Of course, she doesn't have balls because she's a chick. She goes in ovaries out. I guess ovaries wouldn't be out. Vagina lips out, and she, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. What's going on, guys? This is Trendkill, and welcome back to part, part cinco of my <laughs> Skyrim Let's Play, and I want to show you guys something. I'm going to turn around real slow. Look who it is. Lydia's with us. So, what that means is, while I was not recording, between episodes 4 and 5, what I have done is I have leveled up a little bit in archery. And since I leveled up in archery, I got another level, leveled up some more in archery. Uh, leveled a little bit in conjuration. There was nothing I was doing. I was just kind of power leveling just to get a level so I could get rid of Fendal so you guys didn't have to watch, uh, you know, me hang out with... Uh, Findall and you know just run around and kill random stuff until I leveled so uh, got rid of him stole all of the stuff sold it all and now I've got Lydia here with me and uh, I wanted to make sure I did this while you guys weren't watching so that we could get straight into the action I'm gonna show you guys where to get a sweet ass weapon especially for somebody like Lydia who's you know more of a warrior type gonna run in and go balls out again you know we talked about she doesn't have balls but anyway so a uh, little bit about the last episode. I apologize for the poor quality of the last episode. For some reason, the game, like the recording glitched, and you guys can tell, like, I, I think, and I, I have to go back and watch it just to make sure, but the audio kind of cut out of the actual gameplay, so you couldn't hear, like, any of my fighting and stuff. And it glitched a couple times, like, in the middle of the recording and kind of, like, spazzed out on me, so the audio was off in two places. So I had to go back and, like, edit some of it out and move some of the video around so that it matched up. But anyway... I apologize for that. Hopefully, this episode is a little better. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go get a sweet-ass weapon for Lydia. And like I said, some of you guys may know about this. Some of you may not. I'm going to head out to the stables here. And we're going to trek to a certain area. And I want to kind of show you where this is at. Do I have enough? I wonder if I have enough money for a horse. Or did I buy a horse? I can't even remember. So, uh, I'm recording this as level, or level, I said that last time, as uh, episode 4 is uploading. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I did notice that there was a point in the episode where, I, oh, I did buy a horse. Excellent. Uh, I was remembering there was a point in the episode where I was clearing out that halted steam camp where it got a little tedious for even me to watch. And shit, it's my video. So, uh, anyway, what we're going to want to do is I'll pull up the map so you guys can see it. We're going to head over to Windhelm. And then we're going to hoof it on the horse over to this area. This is where a, another giant camp is at. It's not a bandit camp. There's going to be a giant and a few mammoths. And what we're going to do to get there is we're going to take the carriage over to Windhelm. And Bjorlam is my homeboy. This dude takes me everywhere. I rely a lot on carriage in the beginning. We're going to go to Windhelm here. Climbing back. Take my money. Whoop. Missed it. So anyway... Good news, actually, and actually, I may have some really good news coming for you guys soon. I don't want to, I don't want to screw the pooch and say it too early, but I uh, may have some good news coming soon. I may have to have a channel update. I want to get all the logistics figured out before that happens. Uh, regardless, some other good news. I found a way to cut the rendering time of these videos down significantly, and I'm in the middle of testing it. This may be the first video. I'm not sure. I may release a channel update video before that. It depends on how fast my news comes, but I want to release a test video nonetheless of... Where's my horse at? Of uh, the quality of the video with the new render settings that will really show you guys... Um, or really benefit you guys because I should be able to release these episodes much more often. It was taking me 20 hours to update or upload a new video, or I'm sorry, render a new video, and now I think I've got it to the point where uh, a 30-minute video should only take three hours-ish to render. If that's the case and I don't have a lot of loss in quality because of that, then uh, we're going to have a lot more videos coming a lot more often. So cross your fingers. I know a lot of you want to see this Let's Play more often if these wolves would stop biting my horse's ass. And, uh, yeah, so that's some good news. So anyway, we're heading over. Am I go I'm going the right way. I did put a point there, right? 
yeah, so we're heading over this direction. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, a lot of riding in one direction. What's this guy all about? Yeah, my way, bitch. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, what we're doing is we're heading over here. Now, the couple things that are over here. A lot of you guys said, hey, you should make sure you get the Croesus, uh, Croesus mask. Is that it? Croesus? I think that's right. And, uh, I plan on probably getting the Dark Brotherhood hood instead. Uh, I don't really need the pickpocket, or uh, what is it, lockpicking and alchemy. And uh, the Dark Brotherhood gives you the same amount of uh, bow damage, the 20% uh, bow damage. So I'll probably end up going that route because I am too much of a pussy at this point to be fighting a Dragon Priest for a mask. But anyway, long story short, Shear Point is over here, over in this direction. And uh, that is where you fight a Dragon and a Dragon Priest. You don't have to fight them at the same time, but regardless, you kill the Dragon. You get a Word Wall that's got uh, three words on it. You get the Dragon Mask. So it's a lot of a lot of good loot there, but I think I'm a little, uh, little young to be worrying about that right now. So, uh, long story short, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But the camp is right at the base of that mountain. Also, a little cool tidbit about your horses. Uh, if you don't know, these things can climb, like, 75 degree <laughs> angles. It's ridiculous. Let's see if I can climb this. Like, I mean, it's crazy what they can climb. So you just, like, jump, and they, like, float, and, like, uh, kind of. It's almost like they glitch up stuff. It's weird. They, like, okay, so I'm not going to do it. I'm, you're making a liar out of me. Snatch his horse. Uh, but anyway, so, like, you can, like, run straight into stuff. See if this one works. So, like, you can see, I'm just, like, popping up. That was basically a 90 degree angle straight up. Is that the right camp? Oh, yeah, so it's already, the camp's already popping up on the map here. So those tusks up there on the mini-map are giant camps, if you guys didn't know. They are excellent spots for giant's toes, obviously, because you're killing giants. Giant's toes are one of the best alchemy ingredients in the game. And they're also great spots for grand souls. You get a lot of grand soul gems from the mammoths around those camps. And here we go. Uh, this is going to be... I guess I'm going to have to go up this way. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your way to this camp. I want to get here so I can get it to pop up on my... There we go. Tumble Arch Pass. That's what it's called. I couldn't remember what it was called. I'm going to hop off my horse. Hopefully he doesn't go over there and try to be a badass and kill a giant. And if you can make your way up to the top of Tumble Arch Pass... Also, if you guys didn't know, uh, if you look backwards... I know it looks kind of funny. If you look backwards and continually jump, you can get your way up certain spots that you can't normally get up. Anyway, so you make your way up to the top of Tumble Arch Pass, up above it where you're looking down on the fire. You'll see a bunch of mammoth tusks around here, and you'll see, like, this stone bowl. I'm going to wait so that I can get Lydia up here. Hopefully. Maybe? Where's she at? Uh, Lydia! Maybe I have to wait longer. She can't be that far behind, can she? There she is. So anyway, what I wanted to really show you guys was there's this there's this bone here, this giant's club. And this is the club that these giants use. Which I can, maybe I can zoom in on it a little bit. You can see it in his hand. That's the one that they use to just smash the shit out of you. I'm not going to shoot him because that would be a death wish. But anyway, you can't pick it up. Here I am tapping X on this trying to get this. You cannot pick it up. And when I found this first, I, f I had Ayla with me. And I was like, oh, I can't pick it up. Maybe my, maybe I'm encumbered. Thinking that, or not thinking that, or uh, I'm a retard, and when you're encumbered, you just walk slow. So I was like, okay, Ayla, will you pick this up for me? And uh, so I clicked on it. She went and picked it up. Watch this shit. <laughs> Your followers can pick it up and equip it, and they will just run around just beating the shit out of things with it. I'm not going to tempt fate and uh, fight a giant, because Lydia will get her ass handed to her. But anyway, look at that. It's like twice the size of her. <laughs> and this is mainly for your two-handed weapon users. Lydia's a one-handed weapon user, so she's not as proficient in two-handed. But by the time she gets up to level 50, she's got 72 points uh, in her two-handed skill. So that's not awful. Uh, the thing about the two-handed users, Vilkus is a guy in the Companions that uh, will actually get a lot of uh, two-handed. He'll, he'll have 100 two-handed by the end of the game. And uh, he's the guy you really want to have. The problem is, is that I like to steal pe steal shit and kill innocent people. And he is the wrong guy to have with you if you're that kind of person. Because if you kill somebody that you're not supposed to kill, he... Oh, I can't go there yet. Come on there. He, uh... What am I talking about? Oh, Vilkus. If you kill somebody that you're not supposed to kill that's not an enemy, he'll, like, leave. And I'm like, fuck that. I want to be able to assassinate people and not have somebody care. And your house Carls will never leave based on a moral compass. 
Also, Cicero or any one of the Thieves Guild or Dark Brotherhood guys will also allow you to kill people and not really give a rat's ass. So anyway, since we've got somebody that's going to let us kill people and not care, we are going to go to Windhelm and start the Dark Brotherhood. Now, I'm going to do the Dark Brotherhood regardless. Uh, if you guys don't want to watch it, I can do that in my spare time. But I really want to get the Ancient Shrouded Armor and all that kind of stuff so I can get the extra bow damage from the helm. The Ancient Shrouded Armor is a 35% bow damage, so that's pretty badass. And uh, also, I want to get Shadow Mirror. Shadow Mirror is an essential part in every class that I make because it's an extra follower. And it's a horse that doesn't die, really. So uh, you don't have to waste your money keeping the horses. So anyway... What, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to head in here, we're going to find this little boy, and we're going to break into his house, because uh, that's the kind of person we are. And uh, we are not actually going to molest him. Most of the time I break into little boy's houses, that's what I end up doing, but not, <laughs> not this time. And uh, maybe I crossed the line there. Should not have talked about molesting little boys. But uh, hey, you know, whatever. So we're going to break in there, we're going to kill his teacher for him. He's like, please, kill my teacher. And that's what we're going to do. So, anyway, uh, hopefully, this Let's Play is able to upload more often. That's really going to make my day, because I hate those 20-hour 20 20 hour upload, or 20-hour render times. That was just sickening to me, but anyway. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to join the Dark Brotherhood. What I want to know is, what do you guys want to see me do? You guys leave a comment below letting you, me know where you want me to go from here. Because at this point, I can pretty much do whatever. And uh, I'm going to choose to do the Dark Brotherhood. Again, if you guys don't want to see that, let me know and I'll just skip it. Uh, but if you want me to do the Mage Guild or the Thieves Guild or the Companions or the Civil War, whatever you guys want me to do, let me know. And that's what I'll do. God, look at Lydia's big ass fucking club in my face. Alright, so here's a little boy. He's got like blood and guts and human hearts and all that kind of shit laying around here. And you talk to him, and he's like, oh my god, the Dark Brotherhood, you finally came. And if you act like, yeah, of course, I'm from the Dark Brotherhood. And he's like, hey, I got a contract out on this chick. And I want you to go kill her. Did I ruin it? Come on there. There we go. You remain silent. Contract. And he gives you the 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 contract to go kill Greylod. Greylod is in Riften, which is great, because that's going to lead us to the Thieves Guild. And, uh, yeah, so... The first 12 minutes have been nothing but information, so uh, let's actually get some shit done. I'm going to go down here to Riften. Maybe, if I can find it. There it is. Oh, I can't go down there. Shit. So I got to go out here to the stables, and we're going to fast travel out there, or ride, ride a carriage. So, uh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> I don't have anything to talk about. Um... I don't know about editing these things out. Uh, you know, most of you guys want to see me sell stuff. I've had some people that said they don't, so I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna wing it. We're gonna figure out. Uh, we're gonna figure out this thing before too long. Master difficulty has been kind of a joke. Uh, usually, it's kind of a challenge, but archery's pretty much pretty much ruined me on <laughs> anything master. It's kind of been easy. Hopefully, we can get into some stuff that... Uh, I'd like to hire your carriage. Hopefully, we can get into some stuff that's going to challenge us. Where is it at? Rift. Climb, we'll Climb in back. So, also, I don't think I'm going to do any smithing. Some of you guys want me to. I don't think I'll do any smithing or enchanting. I'm going to get a bound bow, and I think that bound bow is going to be overpowered, but we'll find out here. So anyway, we go to Riften, the underbelly. It's the 4chan of <laughs> Skyrim. Uh, and this is where all the nasty shit goes down. Where all the sluts and whores and murderers and thieves hang out. And uh, even, the, even the guard at the door tries to rip you off. He's like, hey, there's a visitor's tax. And I was like, what? If you persuade this guy. He's like, all right, keep your voice down. I'll let you in. I was like, yeah, you will, motherfucker. Okay, so, now that I have promptly run out of shit to talk about, we're going to go in here and kill Grella. You do not have to do anything when you're killing her. You don't have to sneak. You don't have to be hidden. Most of the contract stuff, you will get in trouble if you're not. But for some reason, there's a bunch of little kids that want to see her murdered, and apparently her assistant doesn't matter or doesn't mind too much either. Uh, I don't want to talk to that dude. He, like, tries to talk shit. He may follow me. No, he didn't. Uh, Brynjolm, or whatever his name will, though. If I can get past him without him talking to me, too. Look at that. I ran through unscathed without being bothered. And I think she is over here. 
I may be wrong and I'm going the wrong way for no reason. Pretty sure she's in this house. Yeah, Honor Hall Orphanage. So we're gonna put an arrow through this fucking bitch's forehead and then we're gonna go back to him. Now once you're done, if you guys haven't done the Dark Brotherhood yet, look, these kids are like, hey, let's learn. I'm like, nope. Doink! And you don't have to do anything. They don't get mad. Nobody calls and nobody tattles on you. And uh, you just leave. She doesn't have any uh, anything on her, just rags and stuff. So we're going to get out of here and fast travel back to Riften. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Windhelm. Wherever that may be. All right. So we're going to join the Dark Brotherhood. So for those of you who don't know what I was getting ready to say, is that when you kill Greylod the first time, you go back, tell the guy you've done it, or tell the little kid that you've done it. He gives you a plate for some stupid reason. And uh, you can sell that plate for, I think it's like 50 gold or something retarded like that. But anyway, he gives you your prize. A courier will bring you a note. It's got a black hand on it. All it says is, we know. If you rest in any bed after you get that note, you will be abducted by the Dark Brotherhood. And that's a pretty cool quest line, especially for those people who usually play like the good type character. The uh, Dark Brotherhood is badass. Probably the probably my favorite storyline in Oblivion and Skyrim. Uh, I really like murdering the unworthy. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to make our way back to this kid. We may molest him this time. I haven't decided. Uh, nah, we won't. <laughs> that should be an action. Like when you're sneaking, if they're sleeping, you should have like a molest option. So anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's dead. Here's the uh, heirloom, just like I promised. And we are done. We have now joined, not joined, but we have now completed the quest to join the Dark Brotherhood. Innocence lost. What are we going to do now? We're only 16 minutes in, and I'm pretty much done with everything I wanted to do. We could join the Mages College. We'll go get that out of the way. Uh, go back out here and ride to Winterhold. I like to join the Mages College or the College of Winterhold because that gives you a lot of vendors to sell magic rings and stuff like that too. If you really want to make a lot of money, you can make rings with the transmute and then you can enchant them with enchanting stuff and then go sell them if you've got the soul gems to do it. Uh, that's a really easy way to make money early on. You'll sell those gems uh, or those gemmed rings or enchanted rings for hundreds of gold apiece. Ugh. Oh, how about that burp? And, uh, yeah, so you can go to the Dark Brotherhood, or the Dark Brotherhood, the College of Winterhold, and there are, like, six or seven vendors that will buy magic rings from you. Now, they only have, like, a thousand gold apiece, uh, but, hey, fucking thousand gold's a thousand gold, right? So we're gonna go to Winterhold. The Winterhold quest line may be a pain in the ass for the archer because a lot of it requires that you fight the mage-type players. Woo! And those guys are rough on Master. But anyway, not quite sure where to go beyond this. Now that we've got that, now that uh, Lydia's got a humongous boner and uh, <laughs> we've got our archery. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I'll pause here in a second. Since I've got a few levels uh, because I trained and stuff, I can show you guys what I've upped so you guys don't miss out on anything. So, uh, archery obviously looks a little beefier. I put one point into steady hand here. So we've got our little uh, slow time and we've got the Mac Daddy. Of all archery, well, I guess not all archery. Bullseye's pretty badass later on. But we've got the, the big, the big like, you know, like if you're going to make a mage, you want to get to impact as fast as possible. If you're going to make an archer, you want to get the power shot as fast as possible. That's going to allow you to have a lot more time in between you and the enemy chasing you. Uh, your arrows stagger all but the largest opponents 50% of the time. So basically every other arrow, not it doesn't work out necessarily that way, but basically every other arrow is going to stagger your opponent. And I think that's all I've done. I didn't put anything in conjuration. No, no, I didn't. I still got that one point in sneak. So that's all that's changed. However, those are uh, pretty big changes. So we've got our, uh, you know, our slow time, our, our zooming in with the bow slows time, and we've got our power shot. Now, a lot of you guys said, hey, steady hand's not that bad. You don't give it enough credit. And uh, we're going to figure that out on this playthrough, how much credit I should actually be giving steady aim. So uh, we'll find that out. So we're going to head up here. Feralda's obviously the gatekeeper, and she's like, yeah, you're not getting through uh, unless, you cast a ma uh, unless you cast some magic. I'm like, oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you. I'll cast that magic. <laughs> anyway, so... May I enter the college? That's what I need to say. Uh, I want to destroy anybody who opposes me. 
small test. If you small test. I think we'll both no, know our seed. You can't you can't get that. I'll take your test. Excellent. And a she says, Firebolt. I can I can do that. I look forward to it. Actually, I don't. You I can't know. look. I don't know the Firebolt spell. She'll sell to you any any spell that she uh, uh, has. She'll sell to you for thirty bucks. It's not a tome. I don't think. I think it's just the spell. Let me check her. Yeah, just a spell. So we're gonna go over. We're gonna equip the Firebolt. Oh, she hasn't given it to me yet. There we go. Firebolt added. I don't think I can cast this. I'll show you. Well done. You must be a superb mage, so now you can make it through. And she makes you, uh, like, sit back and hang out with her. Of course, we're not going to do that shit. Where's my... Is my bow not coming out? Balls. Uh... Oh, there it is. There we go. Jesus Christ. It's like I'm retarded when it comes to that uh, quick, quick, quick swap. The menu. All right, so now we're members of the College of Winterhold, and uh, we're members of the Dark Brotherhood. We're 20 minutes in. Um, since I'm not exactly sure where you guys want me to go from here, I think we're going to call it quits. That's probably a pretty boring episode. Uh, a lot of informational, less humor. But, I say that after every episode. You think I should? I would stop being self-deprivating? That was an awesome episode, Trinkill. Good job, buddy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was more informational than it was humorous. Didn't get a lot accomplished. We got some of the preliminary stuff out of the way. Maybe I should have done that before I made the video, but I thought you guys would want to see, uh, you know, me give Lydia her humongous boner. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Oh, by the way, look at this. Here's Jazargo. Have you mastered the expert level this time? He asked if you mastered No, but I will. It is good to finally and uh, he actually will ask you to. There is skill in magic. There is uh, not everything is a competition, you know. The only reason you could disagree. Uh, what is it? Skyrim Something I gotta ask him. Maybe first. you may have to be a. You may have to actually be a member of the 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 College of Winterhold. But he gives you a quest to go do some stuff. Jazargo is actually the best follower in the game. He's the only follower that will go up to level eighty one with you. And uh, all the other people stop at level 50 or below. So he's uh, well worth getting his uh, quest out of the way and getting him. He also uses plate armor, destruction magic, and he's just a fucking beast. So get him. Anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to save here at the College of Winterhold. And you guys let me know in the comments where you want me to go from here. Hopefully, uh, I'll get something of a kind of an idea of where you guys want me to go from here. I, you know, I don't know if you just want me to walk around and murder some bandits or what, but I'm figuring you guys will want me to see or want to see a quest line going. And other than that, guys, uh, we're going to try to render this maybe in the new settings, uh, assuming I've got them tested in time. And until then, guys, we are going to work on episode six. So we'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the...